Here's one thing I very much dislike about this thing. Why is the brake neochrome? And plus it looks super shiny. Like I won't lie, it's not that bad looking. Like granted the back wheel is more loose than like, oh, I was about to make a really bad joke. <laughs> another video so today I have something interesting you guys have might might have seen this before but I want to shout out Raymond just because he gave me this idea kind of in general you get let me let me explain a few weeks ago he did a video on this 50 to $100 Amazon scooter I think it was hundred dollars and I was like you know what? that sounds like a really cool idea and I got inspired so shout out to you Raymond for the idea if you guys want to see his video it's up in the cards I think which side is it that side, yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to give him a quick shout out because it is his idea. I'm not taking credit for this. It's completely his idea. So what I did, I took the matter in my own hands and I went on eBay and found a scooter deck for literally $50, okay? This is $50 worth of scooter deck. Because I know some of you guys don't have a ton of money to buy like a whole Mad Gear Complete or like a super nice custom scooter or something like that to treat yourself. Not everybody has that kind of money. And this deck is $50, so it's really, really budgetable, okay? You don't have to have a lot of money. So I found it on eBay and I decided let's buy this thing, test it out, see how it actually rides. Because like I said, some of you guys might actually need this thing. Okay, so we're at the park, we're chilling, warming up. There's not a lot of people here, and I'm pretty much pretty. I don't know how this this whole idea is gonna work because I saw Raymond do it. Like I said, I don't know if it was a really good. And the other, I have one problem. I forget if I mentioned this, but I don't have an extra set of grip tape. So essentially, we're just gonna be testing the deck out without grip tape. Which I mean, I don't think it's gonna be a huge problem because we're not gonna be doing like the most insane tricks. But I think you get the idea. It's kind of gonna be weird to ride, you know, a freaking deck with no grip tape. Oh man, bro, this freaking scooter feels. So so good right now yesterday I put new wheels on it which actually you guys might have seen that before but dude the wheels make everything so light and like literally overheads feel like almost basically not even doing anything speaking of my scooter if you guys want the deck it actually comes out of complete there's a link in the description you guys can go click that and use code body to check out and save 10% off the entire website anything you want okay so we're chilling I literally don't even have pads on right now because I'm not in the mood to go absolutely insane so we're gonna try and get a little steezy with it ready watch this Oh, fakey lip. Whip front lip. Double. Uh, three whip. And let me do a bar whip. Oh, I haven't done that air <laughs> legit forever. I think homie's gonna try a bar. Oh, that was close. Uh, why don't we do 270 bar? And 270 bar. Oh, stupid foot. God dang it. Explain to me how I can three bry the whole thing, but I can't 270 bry the hip. Oh, that was perfect. Oh, yeah. Triple. Dude, light work. Okay, I'm gonna stall that gate, come over this hip, and then I wanna try front board whip on the on the on the handrail, which I've done like twice. I don't know why it's so difficult. I can do it like easily on a flat bar, but handrail's a little different. Right, we'll just try and chuck a bar after two. Or not. Oh god, oh man. Got lucky with that. Woo! Oh, first try. You guys might not believe me, but I actually grinded up this rail yesterday. It was actually so difficult. Like, bro, this thing is not small. Like, at the bottom, it's not. I could try it again, though. Shall we give her a send? I don't know, dude. If I don't make it up, it's done. I'm toast. All right, worst comes to worst. I just get absolutely freaking body to the max. I highly doubt my legs are warmed up enough, but we're gonna try it anyway. Woo, jeez. Okay, come on. Se second one ever. Yeah. Ah, dang it, bro. It's such a big jump. Third time's a charm. Please, I don't want to do this anymore. It's kind of scary. Woo, jump too late. Oh my god, that's so freaking spooky. Come on, please, please. I don't want to get folded like an omelet. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Not trying that again. I only just landed butt crack on the rail. I would have freaking sucked. I want to do a freaking freaking what what you want to call it? I don't even know. Whip front. I want to do that again because I don't have pads. And I'm not a big fan of this trick without pads. I have no idea why. It's kind of like a mental thing. It makes no sense. Should be easy. But like I'm like so consistently inconsistent with this trick. It makes absolutely no sense because some days I'll really catch them so high, and the next day I'll barely land it, like break my ankles. We'll put some pressure on myself and try this line. Ah, oh, didn't even make it. What the heck? Need much more speed. Here we go. Try it again. There we go. Okay, now I'll do it. Oh, that was actually freaking perfect. Oh, let's go. Oh, keep going, keep going, right? Back lip. 
Uh, oh god, I meant to do two. I freaking washed out halfway. Is it is it too early to do a flare up? It's about 10 o'clock right now, and then I think that's just about perfect timing. And we'll do a padless because you know why not? Perfect, perfect. Oh boy. Oh, dang it! All oh, the pads freak me out. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that's probably the worst attempt I could have went. All right, we got it this time. Do bar bar instead, or not? Just watch. Hey, let's go. All right, so we rode for a little bit. Obviously, my scooter's the same, but right now, I wanna show you this thing that I found. So I already took it out of the box. It's still in the wrapping paper, so I'm gonna show you real fast because it's actually pretty cool looking. Like, I, I like the color, I won't lie to you. It, it's pretty nice. Here's the color. It's a red deck, which, I mean, red is like my favorite color, so it makes perfect sense. So the brand actually is used to be very reputable. It's called Crisp. I actually rode the wheels for this brand ages ago they didn't last me long because i mean it's not the greatest thing but i mean this deck is pretty decent it doesn't feel like it would break which is kind of cool but i really really dig this red i think it's called the evolution deck which is i mean kind of a copy of phoenix but that's kind of irrelevant because now this thing is in front of me i don't actually know how wide this is i could measure it just compare it to my deck all right my deck is five wide this is probably like four eight is it longer no this is about four eight by 20 so the dimensions aren't that bad i won't lie to you but like i did say i have literally zero grip tape so i'm gonna have to do this whole thing without grip tape but i mean i don't think it's a big problem now here's here's one thing i very much dislike about this thing why is the brake neochrome you could have just made it the same red. Like, why is the brake neochrome? That makes, honestly, that's probably the biggest flaw, just look-wise, because that's horrible. Don't do that. But for $50, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it has a normal headset. They kind of screwed up the paint here. But, I mean, it's not, it's not, the, it's not the worst thing ever. I kind of look at it like this. That's 10 out of 10, and this is just mid. But, I mean, if you have mid money, this is, might be good for you. Okay, so quick intermission. Pretty much, we went somewhere. Squirt is here, and he volunteered his scooter to uh, try the deck. He said he wanted to try it out, so that's what we're gonna do. Are you excited? Yes. He's excited, okay. So if you guys know, obviously this deck is very cheap. So because he was nice enough to volunteer his scooter, we're gonna take his deck off, his wheels off, which he actually just got new wheels. So this is gonna be tested with some pretty new wheels and uh, some titanium bars. So we're gonna really quickly take it off his scooter and then he's gonna steal the GoPro. So that is what we're gonna do. Uh, are you excited? Should we try it on? Let's do it. All right, let's go. Here, you, you see your scooter, you're just gonna cover the camera for me and then it'll be magic. Ready, watch this. Three, two, one. Okay, so first things first, we got the wheels on, all right? They don't look too bad. I mean, the only thing, this, this neochrome just ruins it. Like, bro, who was thinking, oh, let's make neochrome on a red deck? No, you're an idiot. But on the other case, uh, this wheel, it's gonna be loose because, uh, yeah, the spacers, my, the spacer we have, not the perfect ones. There you go. Look at that. Oh yeah, squirt. Just pound the hand. Let me see. Give me, give me the five. Okay, she is all set up. And now, like I said, we don't have grip tape because we're not really testing grip tape. We're just testing the deck. Which honestly, if you, if I were you, probably wouldn't recommend not riding with grip tape. But in this case, that's what we're doing. And plus, it looks super shiny. Like I won't lie, it's not that bad looking. Like granted, the back wheel is more loose than like. Oh, I was about to make a really bad joke. <laughs> if you're old enough, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, but forget about it. Like, it's not horrible. I mean, how does it feel? It's light. It's light? Is it really? Hold on. Okay, joke. All right, I'm not gonna lie. It is pretty light. The bars are kind of short for me, but I don't think that matters. Now, if you guys didn't know, obviously I said this earlier, I do ride for Mad Gear. They are literally the best brand ever. I'm sorry, there's no question about that. But judging off of looks, this is like a six out of 10. Actually, maybe even like an eight or nine. It's actually not that bad. But so the neochrome ruins it. It would be a 10 if this garbage thing wasn't here. It seems kind of long because it's not 5 wide, but we're going to ride this thing without grip tape and uh, try not to get freaking body. All right, first drop in. Let's see how it goes. Okay, not terrible. It is a little weird because there's no grip tape. It's not like terribly heavy either. Like it feels like a normal scooter, minus the fact that it's freaking loud and there's no grip tape. But it is very shiny. I do not disagree with the colorway on this. It's very cool. I didn't put any wax on this thing, so I'd be impressed if it slides, but we're gonna try out anyway. Oh, it does. What the frick? Bro, that junk has got a mind of its own. Freaking body. Nah, but I'm gonna be straight up. It doesn't feel that bad. Like, it's not terribly heavy. It's okay, it grinded on the ledge. Will it grind the rail? Oh, not that bad. Yo, squirt. Dude, the no grip tape is trippy. It's 
not that bad right off the bat like just grind wise it's not terrible i'm gonna try and like do like a briar flip or something because i don't really have like a lot of confidence right now because i don't have grip tape and score scooter is a little small on me but i think i think the idea is getting across it's not bad like straight off the bat judging for me it's not bad like personally i wouldn't choose it over mine because well obviously mine is like the greatest thing ever but i mean if for 50 bucks it ain't too bad it doesn't feel like it's gonna break or anything it's actually like pretty sturdy um under my feet like i don't feel like it's flexing a lot i do not really mind the head tube like it's okay but like eh. it does have three bolts for the brake but the brake bolts are super tiny which means you can strip them really easy which is a downside but judging off of looks and like riding it for a few minutes it's not bad like i wouldn't like absolutely hate myself if i had to ride this thing every day oh it does not 50 not even close dude like bro so i wouldn't recommend trying to 50 a rail on this thing but you can definitely do some coping grinds like a front dude squat like some grinds like lifts don't seem that bad like it slides very very well which kind of comes to, yep can't 50 i forgot <laughs> all right well that's then uh me trying it you want to give it a go okay we're on the scooter now oh my god it's so weird dude i mean i'm not gonna lie the helmet matches it matches really it's, really it's well. good all right here we go Okay, so, uh, we're gonna try a fly out trick. We just do tail whip first. <laughs> so go over here. Meow. Let's do Feeble Smith whip. Oh god. Oh dude, I'll try double a fly out one up myself. I'm just so scared that whenever I whip it, if I land, my feet are just gonna slip right off like that. I'm just gonna get freaking bogged. All right, we're gonna whip air, and then we'll give the camera back to Roman. Oh, guys, I'm literally on that bozo mode. Oh, dude, that's so weird. All right, well, Squirt tried it out. What do you rate out of 10? I would say I would rate it a seven. That, that's pretty dang solid for $50, okay? Okay, I definitely wanna try and flare this once. Just because if it's flareable, yeah. I mean, should, should we do it anyway? Should we just do it right now? Hug the flare. Cannot have my feet slip. Oh boy. Oh god. All right, here we go. Oh my god, my feet slipped completely. Oh yes. Oh, that was so bad. All right, well, so far, I wouldn't say you shouldn't buy it. I wouldn't encourage it. I mean, if you really are on a budget, this might be perfect. This might be your perfect option. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, but I think I'm gonna end it off here. I'll catch you guys next time. Later.